You're here because you want more, more life, more fulfillment, and more respect. However, you are stuck, and this is a wake-up call. If you're tired of wallowing in mediocrity, numbing yourself with pleasures, and evading responsibility, it's time to take control. Destroy the toxic habits that are robbing you of strength and keeping you in a perpetual cycle of weakness. You might think you are moving forward and making some progress in life, however the truth is, you are on a treadmill if you are practicing these five vile habits. Lots of sweat, but zero progress. We've all been there, stuck on the couch, scrolling endlessly through our feeds to avoid discomfort, surrounding ourselves with crappy friends who drag us into the mud, pointing fingers at everyone but ourselves. These habits aren't just unhealthy, they're downright pathetic. Do you want to be a man? Or do you want to be a spineless loser controlled by impulses and excuses? Every second you waste in weakness, you're losing ground. Here are the habits you need to annihilate right now if you want to step into your power. Number one, excessive masturbation. Brothers, hear me out. This masturbation thing is draining us of our power. Every time we give in to the urge, we're tossing energy and motivation down the drain. The fleeting pleasure ain't worth the crash that follows. We're trading long-term fulfillment for a pathetic five-second high. And for what? So we can feel like losers, coiled up alone in the dark? That ain't us. We're made for more than that. This isn't about shame. It's about reclaiming our strength, saving our vital essence instead of pointlessly spilling it. Let that energy build into a bonfire that powers you to be better and to improve yourself in all areas. You want drive and motivation? Then stop pointlessly spilling your power. That post-nut clarity you feel after fapping one out isn't just a foggy head. It's your masculinity swirling down the drain. Imagine how your confidence would soar if you conquered this urge. The pride you'd feel from staring down weakness and winning. Think of the gains you'd hit in the gym as your testosterone rises. We become men when we master our impulses, not surrender to them. When we channel that sexual energy into our mission and purpose, that's real masculine power. This isn't about moral judgments. This is about your power as a man. You've got dreams, goals, ambitions, right? You wanna max out your life? Then why pour your energy down the drain? Make a commitment to limit masturbation to once a week or less. I won't tell you to quit cold turkey, but limit it. And after a while, you will realize that you have stopped doing it altogether. Number two, social media slavery. That phone in your hand connects us, but if you allow it, it chains you up also. We're binging on empty calories, wasting hours consuming instead of creating or mastering something worthwhile, trading real relationships for ads and algorithms designed to hook us. What we need isn't more novelty, more dopamine spikes. It's more purpose, more direction, goals that light our fire. Think of the skills we could master, the gains we could hit, the dreams we could chase in all that lost time, but we can't get it back unless we take action now. So here's the challenge. Delete one time-sucking app today, just one. Replace it with something that invests in you, a fitness tracker, a learning app, and watch yourself shift. Same goes for the mindless scrolling. We're turning our minds to mush with that stuff, lobotomizing ourselves with outrage porn and validation seeking. Is that how we want to live? Weak, distracted, and manipulated by corporations? Hell no, we're men. So let's act like it. Set hard limits on your screen time. Schedule social media like appointments, not leave it on all day. Regain control of your psychology. Feed your mind real nutrition, not toxins. The pride and satisfaction we're chasing don't come from likes or comments. They come from mastering skills, crushing goals, standing strong. We can do this together, but we gotta claw back control from these apps. Lock ourselves out if we have to. Leash it. Either we control the technology or it controls us. Number three. Toxic friendships. Brothers, we have got to take a hard look at our inner circles. Have we got anchors weighing us down or sails lifting us up? You know who I'm talking about? Those friends who laugh when you share dreams, who pull you down every time you try building something real. Are they fans or critics, motivators or mockers? Let's keep it 100. Anyone who drags you down is dead weight and a sinking ship don't need more anchors. A real friend pushes you higher calls you to rise up. The others just feed off you like parasites. You really want to surround yourself with dudes content to scrape bottom? Nah, you deserve better. It's time to kick the toxic ones from our stories. 
replace them with go-getters and risk-takers, men who fan flames, not piss on them, deliberately build a circle that propels you upward. Same goes for friends only interested in partying, chasing women all day long and wasting time. Ditch the fair-weather buddies. Surround yourself with men of strong values who challenge you to improve and have got goals and dreams they won't compromise a good time over. Don't let fools poison you with their loser mindset. Leave them to their vices and mediocrity. Find brothers who share your hunger and drive instead. Men whose ambition fuels your own. Together you can achieve things you never could alone. That positive peer pressure is the brotherhood we need. One that challenges us to find glory on the path ahead. I know you got what it takes. Now find the friends to match. Number four, the blame game. The blame game, you know it, I know it. It's time to drop the blame game crutch. Making excuses might protect our egos, but it also makes us weak. When we mess up, our first instinct is often to point fingers, blame the interviewer, the ex, anyone but ourselves. But that victim mentality gets us nowhere. The truth ain't always pretty, but real men face it. Every failure and bad choice, own it. Not as roadblocks, but as your road. One you pave yourself. Character isn't built on excuses. It's built by staring down our reflections and resolving to do better. By shedding old skin and coming out tougher. So next time you stumble, don't look around for a scapegoat. Look in the mirror. That's your wake-up call. Your chance to turn setbacks into setups, losses into lessons. Same goes for blaming life or circumstances. Our habits and choices led us here. Accept it. Only then can we take ownership and reshape the future. No more pathetic excuses that hold us back. Everything happening in your life stems from your own actions, but that also means you have the power to turn it around. Seize it. Start owning your morning routine, your diet, and your bad habits. Admit where discipline was lacking and make changes. The moment we stop playing victim is the moment we gain back control of our destiny. Brothers, self-pity gets us nowhere. The past is done. Take accountable action today. Number five, laziness. Laziness, also known as the dream crusher. It's time to stop embracing laziness like an old friend. That comfort and distraction is rotting our dreams on the vine. While we relax, our competition pushes harder. With every wasted moment binging shows or scrolling feeds, we fall behind. The world doesn't reward slackers, only relentless grinders. So let's set big goals. Stay hungry. Use your ambitions as fuel to reach levels of drive you never knew possible. Outwork everyone around you. No more excuses about motivation. Discipline trumps motivation anytime. If we want something bad enough, we grind no matter what, energy or not. Limit distractions and social media. Fill time with self-improvement and mindfulness, not laziness. Replace weakness with strength through sheer willpower. Imagine where months or years of discipline could take you, brother. But every minute you squander in laziness, your future selves pay the price. Effort compounds over time. We were made for more than just working and vegging out in front of screens. Demand greatness from yourself, even when it hurts, especially when it hurts. Rise early and grind all day. Set a pace that makes lazy peers uneasy. Be unstoppable. The path of least resistance leads nowhere you wanna go. Laziness tries to sell us lies, but it ain't our friend. It just slowly steals life minute by minute as we sink. It brings regret procrastination, complacency along too. Together they drag us down like quicksand. The cost of laziness is everything. The dreams we shelved, the goals we postponed, that's the robbery in progress. And the thief, it's us. Guys, the habits holding you back are like weeds in a garden. Ignored, they will choke out growth. But pulled up by the roots, your true potential can flourish. It's time to go all in. Destroy the toxic patterns, replace them with discipline, and watch yourself become the man you were destined to be. One who controls his habits and mindset instead of being controlled by them. Your friends may mock you as you strive for more. Let them. They're stuck in their ruts of weakness, paralyzed by the fear of judgment. Meanwhile, you'll be taking action. This won't be easy. Changing your lifestyle requires perseverance, but imagine the possibilities. Unlocking deep reservoirs of drive and willpower, gaining the respect of your peers, Becoming the hero of your own story. It starts by making a commitment. No more excuses or distractions. Destroy your demons, collect your strength, and boldly seize the life you know you deserve. I'll leave you with a question. What's worse, the temporary pain of discipline or the perpetual agony of regret? 
The choice is yours. Make it count. If this video has been helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification icon. Until next time, brothers.